Welcome back, Raiders. I'm your host, Wilbur from the Hope of the Third of the Cuba Sound No Relation, but you can call me Dylan. Today is, of course, February 8th, 2021, and a B day at that. Attention, Saga members. There will be a meeting Wednesday, February 10th, at 2 30. Please email Mr. Ketzner for information on joining the meet. That is K O E T Z N E R. Attention all interested in playing boys volleyball. There will be a virtual meeting for new and returning players Thursday, February 18th at 3 p.m. The Google Classroom code is KU6ROQ6. That's all lowercase. Our first segment today comes to us from Dennis Santos with his predictions for the Super Bowl this weekend. Keep in mind that regardless of when this video is put up, this is all being filmed the week prior to the actual game. Just so you know. Hi, welcome to my prediction of the Super Bowl on February 7th, 2020. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be hosting the Kansas City Chiefs to earn, to earn their chance of getting the Lombardi Trophy. Well, I think... I think it'll be a good matchup. Uh, you have Patrick Mahomes, who's 25. You have Tom Brady, who's 43. Both of offenses have, have been a selling great throughout the season. And um, I think that this will be a high scoring Super Bowl. Um, who I think is going to win? I think that probably the Kansas City Chiefs will win. Um, they have Travis Kelsey, who's probably one of the best tight ends in the league. They got Tyreek Hill, who is probably the fastest, speediest player the league has ever seen. And Patrick Mahomes, who can throw a dime anywhere with, with, without even looking at his receivers, which is pretty cool. So I think Tom Brady will, will make it close. He is the greatest quarterback of all time. Mike Evans is a good receiver. Rob Gronkowski, probably the greatest tight end uh, I've ever seen play the game. And the Tampa, Bay, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense isn't as good as the Kansas City offense is. And the Tampa Bay defense is great, but the Kansas City offense is much better to um, – too much better to uh, not stop. And, uh, and, and, and the Tampa, and the Kansas City defense is not as great as the Bucs offense is. So I think it's going to be like high 40s. May, maybe low 50s type of scoring the Super Bowl with Patrick Holmes winning on top, getting his second Super Bowl in two years, second, second be, before he hits the age of 26, will be the youngest quarterback to do that. So I think it's going to be like 50, 52, 48, Kansas City, something in that range with Patrick Holmes, probably the Super Bowl MVP. Because he is the greatest player the, the, since Tom Brady. Tom Brady will make it close. I think Tom Brady will, will have a game for his life, but, but but also lose at the same time. And for Tampa Bay, they'll be hosting the Super Bowl. First time in NFL history, they'll do that. So, yeah, I have Kansas City 52, Tampa 48, in the Super Bowl, and peace. Thank you for that, Dennis. I can't wait to see what happens. Hopefully, your predictions will come true. And next up, of course, we have the Smith Brothers with their segment on something about basketball. Welcome to the Smith Bros Podcast. I'm Alex Smith. I'm Chris Smith. Today we'll be discussing who we think will win the Super Bowl. I personally think that the Chiefs will win. I think that the Buccaneers are going to win. Why do you think that the Buccaneers will win? Um, I think that the Buccaneers are going to win because Tom Brady is motivated to get number seven. And I think the whole team hasn't been to the Super Bowl ever, so... I think they're all motivated to win. Why do you think the Chiefs are going to win? I think the Chiefs will win. They got the best player in football on their team. They also have a great tight end and a great wide receiver. Uh, they've just been the best team all year. I think that's why they'll win. It's going to be a great game. The two best quarterbacks are going to battle it out. And everyone's excited to see it. Yeah, I can't wait for the game. It's going to be really exciting. Thank you for watching the Smith Bros Podcast. I'm Alex Smith. I'm Chris Smith. Thank you for that, Chris Now It's very interesting. And finally, of course, we have Colin Dickshide with his skateboard clip of the week. Thank you, Dylan. Um, so today's skateboard clip of the week is a dark slide on a bed of nails skateboard.
I know that sounds very scary, because it is very scary. So pretty much, Australian skater Ricky Glaser, he attempted a dark slide on a bend skateboard. And pretty much, I was just shocked in how he didn't get hurt doing this because I would have, knowing me, I just would have slammed or my feet probably would get cut up doing, you know, sliding up on the board. No! Oh! 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 So she since my shoes aren't really the best quality, and they probably like they definitely like will just like shred apart right when I do any trick on them. But um, so the idea of just doing a flip trick or any trick on a male skateboard is just terrifying. And so just as a refresher, so the trick that he's doing, what that is, is it's pretty much just a board slide, right? But your board is completely flipped around. So the bottom, the top part of the board is scraping against the, the rail. And yes, that means that the nails are scraping against the rail. And when you, when you hear that sound, it's very, very cringeworthy. And... I'm just lucky that they didn't film it a lot closer because you would probably be able to hear just the nails, you know, sh like right against the rail. That just, that noise is just like, you know, very cringeworthy. But, um, so back to the trick. So, yeah, you're pretty much just doing a board slide, but you flip it a little bit. You, get, you give it a little bit more effort when you flip it so it goes... It's actually a half kickflip, so pretty much you're just, you're not like, you're not flicking the board as, I guess, hard as you usually would. So pretty much your feet are on the bottom of the board. And I guess that's good because you spend less time with your feet on the nails. But, um, and then you, you try to just land back on the front of the board it's it's very confusing and people used to do this a lot the the trick a lot like back in the day but now not so much but um so back to the clip so pretty much um i guess still and you can just play the clip and then i'll just give you guys my thoughts on it so dylan play the clip right now all right so pretty much I know the trick was kind of sketchy, and it definitely wasn't, definitely didn't look the best, but I mean, come on, it's a dark slide on a nail skateboard, what do you really expect? And you can tell that he really gave it his all. I mean, I would too, if, because, you know, they're filming it for YouTube, and pretty sure for his Instagram too, so, you know, you gotta make it, you know, you, know, you gotta make it count, you gotta make it worth it. And, um, so that was pretty much the highlight of the video was that that final clip um as far as the rest of the video is concerned like besides that clip like before pretty much there were no injuries except for aaron he i don't know how but he um hurt his foot pretty sure by just stepping on it or something like that and or just like standing on it he somehow broke his foot um but What's good about his, I guess, attire is, you know, he wore pants and that's really smart just so you don't get as hurt as if you weren't wearing pants, especially if you like, you know, cut your knee or shin or any part of your leg. Um, and th the thing with Ricky is he like always wears shorts. So it was definitely out of his comfort zone, but it was also a smart decision the smartest decision but um overall this is definitely a video reacting to it or worth reacting to this video came out like a month ago so it's kind of outdated but they ever every now and then braille uploads a really really um intense or a really i guess just intriguing video like one that like will like make you want to watch it all the way through um, so yeah, Dylan, back to you in the studio. Very cool, Colin, thank you. 
Thank you all for watching. That is all we have for today. Uh, before you go, I would like to announce that the famous YouTuber Dylan Fimore has uploaded yet another amazing video. This time a live action Yu-Gi-Oh! duel between him and his friend Richard Giuliano. Go check it out. Here's the link. You can type it in, search it up. I don't care. Just go watch it. Okay, see ya. Bye. Alright, I'm leaving. Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants.